stunning developments tonight out of Kansas City, Missouri in the search for 10 month old baby Lisa reported missing from her own crib in the dead of night. For the very latest, let's go straight to CNN correspondent Ed Lavendera, who is live on the scene in Kansas City, Missouri. Ed. Hi, Jane. Well, the focus of today was really the, the search about less than about a half mile away from where we are, this neighborhood here in Kansas City where baby Lisa was abducted now more than a week ago. Uh, but police said they got a tip about a, a well in, behind an abandoned house. And then there, from there, firefighters and police detectives descended on the house, a group of about 25 or so. Uh, they cordoned off a street and they started uh, digging into this well. They had to bring in uh, the, these, these tanks to remove the water that was in it. And all of this took about four hours. And uh, after doing all of that, police came out simply to announce that they didn't find anything in, in that well. So another disheartening day as the search for this little baby girl continues. Jane? Well, I want to go to Edith Carey, who lives near the vacant home that was searched by cops. Uh, tell us about this area, because we understand that this home has been vacant for a number of years and that a tip did lead authorities there. What is it about this area that they searched that is suspicious, Edith? Well, I know that the home has been empty for several years, and um, I had no idea who the owner was or anything like that, but the brush around the home had been just grown up so bad that you really didn't even know that there was home, let alone especially a deck on the back. But the brush has been cleared away probably at least a month. And um, so when I heard the sirens and, and uh, helicopters overhead, then and everybody was around, I knew then that they must be searching for the baby Lisa. And unfortunately, and, uh, they did not find any concrete evidence of anything. This is a desperate search. I want to go to Joe Gomez, reporter KTRH News Radio. Of all the new developments that are, wow, really uh, bizarre, I think the most bizarre is that investigators reportedly got or went to get surveillance video from a nearby grocery store that shows the mother of the missing girl shopping with a mystery man. What do you know, Joe Gomez? Yes. That's right, Jane. This is very strange. I mean, only hours before baby Lisa was reportedly abducted, mommy is at this nearby grocery store with this strange man who is not, by the way, not uh, baby Lisa's father. She's at this grocery store with this strange man, purchases a box of wine, uh, you know, several jars of baby food, baby wipes, and then leaves. Now police are trying to figure out apparently who this strange guy was and why in the world did mommy buy a box of wine Hours later, hours later, Jane, baby Lisa is allegedly snatched from her crib and mommy's buying a box of wine. Very strange here. We are learning a couple of things. First of all, we're learning that the mother of the child went shopping at 5 p.m. approximately, purportedly with a mystery man and bought a box of wine. Now, the mother has said that she last checked on the child and saw the child in the child's room at approximately 10.30 p.m. And then she says she went to sleep with another child, an older boy. I believe it was the six-year-old boy. Dad comes home at 4 a.m. And he has said, according to published reports, that he notices that the baby's door is open when it's usually closed. So he goes and checks, and that's when he discovers at about 4, 4.30 in the morning that the child is missing. And he has said the intruder had to know what they were looking for because they uh, went to that baby's room and opened the door. Joe Gomez, what do we know about this family? It's called a blended family. Tell us about that. Yes, that's right, Jay, because uh, baby Lisa's mother is actually married to a, a man who's in the military and is presently overseas. Now, it's important to note this is not the biological father of baby Lisa. Baby Lisa's biological father was working the night shift at the time she was allegedly uh, kidnapped and then was uh, subsequently reported uh, kidnapped, allegedly, uh, that, that next morning. So that's that's what you mean by this is a blended family. Yes, uh, the mother of this missing child has a husband to which she is to whom she is still married although they are estranged and he is serving in the armed forces and he is reportedly overseas and uh, according to that published report cannot be involved in this whatsoever he's not around 